Right guys, we bought the fish and now we're at my friend's restaurant. Due to COVID, unfortunately, the restaurant's closed. But fortunately for me, I can use the kitchen. I'm not in my gear at the moment because it's freezing. I put the gas on to heat us up a bit. So when I start cooking, I'm going to wear my apron. But yeah, where's the fish, Maroof? <laughs> Myself. What a wonderful I'm Cutting these Thai green chilies. There you go. These are nice and spicy. You know when it's spicy when it's when it's sort of uh, very tight, you know? So these are gonna be lovely and spicy. There you go, got some. Give this a quick wash. Go. So it's going to create a nice gravy with the onions and the tomatoes. I'm going to use a bit of garlic, use a bit of green chilli and when it's finishing time I'm going to put these tomatoes in. Right, let's find a pot and start cooking. You feeling hot now Latif? Right, I'm confident um, this uh, fish curry I'm going to use less ingredients to create a simple recipe but it's going to be absolutely flavoursome so we've got the sea bass ready we re-washed it again uh, I'm just gonna I'm, gonna I'm gonna have to get a tissue or something clean it up uh, well, uh, a kitchen towel clean it up and put some spices and marinate it and fry it so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna try to leave it whole because it's gonna look nice and pretty when uh, we're gonna be plating up I've just got about a couple of uh, about a tablespoon of oil just there um, put these in one two three four five six so there's um six of these uh sea bass add about a good uh teaspoon um of salt i'm gonna add a good teaspoon of turmeric and a good teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. This is going to give a nice little subtle flavour. It's going to marinate uh, the fish. I'm also, uh, I've got a little bit of oil there, as I said, like a tablespoon, and give this a nice little mix. Be careful with the fish bones and stuff. This is just going to give it a nice little colour. Right, I've got my cast iron wok. I'm going to need quite a fair bit of oil to fry the fish. So, this is two cups of oil. One, two. Right, the oil is heating up. To, uh, it takes about a couple of minutes. Let me show you a little tip. Um, get the oil all over so you don't want the fish to stick because of the heat of the pan. If it's not the oil there, it would stick. And that's what you do not want. But let's put the fish in carefully. Bismillah. Look at that. So the fish needs to um, cook about a few minutes at least and then turn the sides around. It just toughens up the fish and when we cook it into the curry, it's going to keep its shape. Because fish is soft and sometimes it breaks away, you don't want that for presentation. There you go, the skin the, is bubbling on the skin of the natural fats. This is beautiful. I'm improvising, so really it should be a nice metal tongue, but I don't have a metal tongue here. So let this cook away for a few more minutes. 
So it's looking nice and golden as you can see. There you go. So it's not sticking, which is what I was afraid of. Right, we're gonna take out one fish for the curry. I'm gonna keep this big fella. I'm eyeing it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you, babe. No, that's quite good. Take the one in the middle. Take the one in the middle. I'm gonna love you and leave you. There we go, this is gonna be for the curry. There we go. Now the, the head needs to be cooked thoroughly. It needs to be nice and crispy. You know? That's when it tastes absolutely gorgeous. Lovely little crunch. It's got a bit of that chili powder, a bit of that turmeric. And it's got a little bit of salt for seasoning, but you can add salt when you're eating it. So let's give it another... Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. That's how it should be. There we go. Wonderful. I want it to be nice and crispy. It's not overcooking it, although it looks like it's a nice heat. Right, these fishes are looking nice and crispy be careful of the oil guys you don't want the and if you don't want the fish starts popping and that's what you don't want there you go now <clears throat> I'm gonna take out some oil because I don't need that much oil So I've taken half of the oil, or if not a little bit more, out. And I'm going to start cooking the fish. Bismillah. You can smell the fish and the, a little bit of spices that there was. Slight caramelization of the fish skin that got caught, which gives it an amazing flavor. I'm cooking it on a high heat, so I can feel it. You can lower the gas if you wish, but it's fine for now. Right, I'm gonna add some salt. That's one. Two teaspoons. You can add a bit more or less, depending on how you like it. Right, I'm gonna add the tomatoes. At this moment, turn it upside down like this. I want a nice thick gravy for this curry. So the reason why I'm using quite a fair bit of tomato, I love that tomato flavour. Um, in the restaurant, we normally make a base gravy. So this is going to create a nice little thick gravy, guys. There we go. I put the tomatoes in, I found a lid. I'm going to lower the gas. Right, the tomato has been cooking away for the last five to eight minutes. The skin's become a little bit wrinkled, exactly how I wanted it. So you can get yourself a nice little tongue. Uh, in my case, I'm just using a spoon and a fork. There you go. Lovely, lovely. You don't want bits of skin in your curry. If you watch 
um, Latif's inspired. When I do the Korai, this is how I normally take the skin off. Inspired by these um, Kashmiri cuisine. Use a lot of tomato, but it has a fantastic um, flavour for that gravy sauce. As they say, it's the curry, which is the gravy. There you go. And what tends to happen? Oh, how does that smell, Maru? It smells amazing. Yeah, it smells divine, I tell you. That caramelization of the onions, nice and golden, these lovely tomatoes, looking absolutely gorgeous. I've got some Tezpata, which is the Indian bay leaf. It's very fragrant, nice sweet uh, flavor to it. But for presentation as well as flavor, it's gonna be gorgeous. So I'm just adding three. To soften up the onions. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. What this does is create some steam. There you go. I'm gonna add some garlic now. I like a lot of garlic, so that's one, two, three, three good heat teaspoons of garlic going in there. Right, as low as the garlic as you can see here, it's going to be a lovely little roasted flavour. And what I want is, I want that pungency to um, reduce from the garlic, so it's not got that zingy zesty uh, flavour to it. And then once that happens, which is going to take about five minutes, I am going to add the lovely spices. So, uh, come back to it in a couple of minutes. Put a lid on. Right, it's been about five minutes um, since we've added the garlic. I've stirred it a couple of times. Oh, look at that. The oil has risen to the top. That water probably has... You know, see that steam? There you go. Beautiful. Sort of catching at the bottom. But that's because I haven't stirred it for a while. And now, I'm going to add lovely spices. Look at the caramelization there. Lots of garlic that I've added and the tomatoes. You can't even see it, but it's melted. It's just mushed up. Now I'm going to put the reduce the gas down to a medium low because when you add the spices, it's it can sort of burn. So you that's what you do not want. So now I'm going to add the spices. Fish spice is very easy. It's just turmeric and coriander and chili powder, and you can add a bit of curry powder if you wish. <clears throat> so turmeric, I'm going to add. About a teaspoon, that's equivalent to, creates a lovely colour and a flavour, that's all it is. Coriander, I'm going to add one, two teaspoon. Chilli powder, I'm going to add one teaspoon, because my friend doesn't like it too spicy, right? <laughs> there you go. So that's all the spice has gone in. The waft is absolutely gorgeous. Lovely caramelization of the onions, the garlic, that thick tomato paste, gorgeous. Now, I've added it onto the hot oil, the spices, but you don't want the spices to burn. When it burns, it doesn't have a lovely flavor. So I'm just gonna add half a cup of water and let this cook on a medium gas for another five to six minutes before the next process. Put the lid back on and come back to it in about five minutes or so. A little bit of water that I've added, it's evaporated. So my good old mug here, I'm gonna add one full mug. So this is one more mug. And what I'm wanting to happen is, I'm gonna reduce this down now. Put the lid on. Right, gonna add the green chilies. Now I've sliced it open to release some of that chilliness, nice and hot spice. 
So I didn't add that much chilli powder. Right now, the sauce has thickened up slightly. I'm gonna add these lovely sea bass. Look at these, beautiful. Bismillah. Let the fishes take a bath. Now I've added the fish, this is a little bit of jus. We reduce the gas to a medium low, sort of. I want the fish to simmer away. Beautiful, look at that. Right, the fish are having a lovely bath. There you go. Now I know I've added lots of tomato at the beginning, but that was for the gravy. The tomatoes all mashed up. Now I'm adding two small tomatoes as a garnish and also for flavour, flavouring. There you go. Fresh coriander. There you go. Now I'm going to let this cook away. I'm not going to put the lid on. When you put the lid on, the fish break away, which I do not want. Obviously I've gone through a two-step process where I've cooked the fish, I've fried the fish. So I don't want it to break for presentation. There you go. So this needs to simmer down for a good 10 minutes and we're ready and good to eat, hopefully. Now, lastly, I'm going to add a bit of kasuri methi. Gives it a slight bitterness to it. This is a fantastic umami. There you go. Lovely. Have a taste of the salt if you wish for more or less. I know I've added just enough. Hopefully it's going to be tasting wonderful. There you go. Let this cook away for 10 minutes. And my rice is boiling away. Now I don't have a lid for this, so I'm going to have to find some foil paper and improvise. The oil has separated from some of that liquid. I wanted a nice little sauce. There you go. Wonderful. Look at those fishes. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. What do you think, Maruf? That looks amazing, mate. Yeah. Can't wait to tuck in. There you go. You can reduce the sauce if you want a little bit more, but you don't want to overcook the fish. Now that fish is cooked to perfection at this minute. So it should be very nice and um, the gelatinous uh, from the fish head. Uh, it's going to be very, very, very flavoursome, I promise you. So all that gelatinous uh, fat from the head is going to go into the sauce and that sauce just needs mopping up with maybe a naan bread or something. But we're going to have some boiled rice. Uh, restaurants closed, the tandoori oven's not been open, so gonna enjoy this. Just, Bad boy. Yep. Just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now turn the gas off. Get ready to plate up. Well, look at this. It's like a kid in the candy store, but instead I'm on a fish store. Look at this. Beautiful fish and the curry. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Myself. What a wonderful world.